Okay, guys. Um, so I'm so happy to share another yoga flow sequence with you today. Uh, we're going to start standing today. So we're going to kind of come to the top of the mat. Feet just sort of hip distance apart. All the time, and you know, guys, I say this throughout the class, abdominals are in tight to support the lower back through everything we do. We're going to have quite a bit of sort of um, blood plumping, cardio flow in this sequence, and we're going to work the core quite a lot as well. So constant reminders to keep tummy in tight, uh, that makes it work that much harder. All right, so starting at the top of your mat, feet steps just hip distance apart. We're gonna start by taking a big breath in, reach the arms up high. And as we exhale, we're gonna swan dive forward. So swan dive forward is the arms reaching out to the side and the chest reaching forward, folding down so the fingertips can touch the shins. You can have blocks here to touch blocks. You can touch the mat, whatever you feel like. Keeping a little bend in the back of these knees always to protect the hamstring, okay? So if your hamstrings are very tight, bend the knees a little bit more, all right? So from here, we're gonna inhale and take it back up to standing in sort of like a reverse swan dive. So inhale all the way up and exhale, swan dive forward. We're gonna leave the fingertips on the mat, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold. And we're gonna do that just a few times. So inhale all the way up, Exhale, swan dive forward. Nice wide open arms, open up the chest. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, let the neck relax. And again, inhale, come on up. All the time, abdominals are in tight and those knees are bent just as much as you need to. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward, forward, relax the head. Again, inhale, come on up. And exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, fold. One more time, we're gonna inhale to stand, and then we're gonna exhale and forward fold. And we're gonna stay in this forward fold and actually take it more into a rag doll. So you can have your arms relaxed if you like. You can have one elbow grabbing the opposite, the, one hand grabbing the opposite elbow and relaxing through the upper body. So all the time lifting up through the back of the hips. So we're warming up through the hamstrings keeping a little bend in those knees to protect them and not overstretch them. Okay, and then allow the upper body to relax. Allow the head, the neck, and the shoulders relax. You can shake the head out. You can nod yes, shake no. And you can even let the upper body sway side to side, let the hips sway. So all a bit of a warm up and release through the lower back, trying to release any tension that we might start with before we get into the deeper stretches of the class. All right, and then we're ready. when you're ready, let's release the hands to the mat, fingertips to the mat, or again to blocks if you have blocks, or to the shins if that's where you're comfortable. And we're gonna inhale just halfway. So lengthen through the torso, make the back long, reach the sternum forward, and exhale, fold down. And we'll do that a few times. So inhale, lengthen, halfway lift and exhale and fold. Bending those knees to protect the hamstrings as always. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. And one more time, inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. So with the knees a little bit bent, we're gonna inhale to standing again. Inhale, come on up, and we're gonna take it into a sun salute. So inhale, reach up tall, and exhale, swan dive forward. And I'll show you a modified version to start. So fingertips to the mat, inhale, lift halfway like we did before, and you can exhale and step back to a plank pose. So remember plank pose, you're looking for that straight line running from your heels up through your hips to your shoulders. So abdominal is in nice and tight. Plank is great abdominal work, okay? If this uh, full plank is too much for you, the modified version is the knees down, okay? You're still working your core right here. All right, and from there, we're gonna bend at the elbows, taking the upper body down to the mat, and inhale, lift up into a little cobra. So what you want to think about when you're doing cobra is actually reaching the chest forward. Don't worry too much about a back bend. It is a back bend, but that's kind of secondary. Okay, mostly you want to open up the chest, lift and open the chest. Okay, and then the back bend comes. Wherever it is, it's fine. All right, and later on in the class when we do an up dog, if you want to stay here in cobra, if that suits you better, then that's fine, you stay here in cobra. So from there, we're gonna bend at the elbows even more, lower the chest down, we're gonna tuck the toes under, 
press up to a plank and then lift the hips up into our down dog and sink the heels down. So in down dog, sinking the heels down, lifting the hips up, pressing the hands away from us on the mat. Okay, we're gonna bend through the knees and you can walk up to the hands or later on you can hop up to the hands when we do a sun salute. Okay, your choice to choose the modified version or the full version or a bit of each depending on what suits you. So here we inhale halfway, exhale fold, and then with a little bend in the knees, inhale, come on up to standing. And exhale, swan dive forward. So a few more sun salutes, you choose which version you like. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step, or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin like before, or lower plank. And cobra, or up dog. You can add a little lower plank push up for a little extra work, or just meet me in down dog, your choice, okay? Bend through the knees, step or jump into the hands. Inhale halfway, and exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to standing. Exhale, swan dive forward, leading with the chest. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step, or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin, or lower plank with the elbows in close. Cobra, or up dog. Lower plank push up if you want, or just head straight for the down dog. Bend through the knees and step, or jump into the hands, and inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up, let this be the last one. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step, or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin or lower plank, cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up, and down dog. We're gonna hold it here in down dog, Sink those heels into the ground, lifting up through the hips. Pressing the shoulders, opening up the shoulders, pressing the chest down towards the mat. Good. So from here, we're gonna take it into a crescent lunge and we're gonna flow with the crescent lunge, changing sides each time. So leading with the right leg, we're gonna step forward to a crescent lunge. Inhale, come on up. We're gonna exhale, come back down, step back to plank. Then lead with the left leg. Left leg steps forward, inhale, come on up. So we're gonna flow like that in this crescent lunge flow. So right leg, inhale on the way up into the crescent lunge, exhale on the way down, switch sides. Inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Good, so to hold that plank, you know by now you really need to be engaging the core. And the core is not just the abdominals, you're working your back as well, all the way through the torso. Okay, this can be done from a kneeling plank as well. You might just take a little longer, but don't worry about that, okay? You want to work at your edge. So if you need to be using the kneeling plank here, then that's fine. Just take a little more time with the transitions. All right, we're gonna do one more time each side. Inhaling on the way up, exhale down. Inhale on the way up, exhale down. So step back into crescent with your right leg and we're gonna hold it here. Okay, so again, as I said, crescent lunge, the knee can be, da the knee can be down if the full lunge is too much for you. Okay, but if you're good with the full lunge, take up the upper body, opening up the chest, reaching the arms up tall, tummies in tight. Let this, uh, the left hip flexor press forward a bit for that hip flexor a nice quad stretch on the left side. Good, we're gonna take a big breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna bring the hands together in prayer and we're gonna to twist to the right side. Let your left elbow come to the outside of the right knee. And we're gonna flow with this movement now as well. So inhale, up through crescent. Exhale, prayer hands and twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, prayer twist. Big breath in. Exhale, twist. Now, if your crescent lunge is wobbly, step your legs further apart for a more stable foundation. Okay? Exhale one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, twist and hold. So here, wherever your twist feels most excellent, you can let your left hand, if you want, come down to the mat and your right arm open up and really open up that chest. 
Okay, you're looking to pull in your abdominals nice and tight. Lift that back knee up, let the back leg be long. And then open up through your right shoulder. Good. Use the twist that most serves you, okay? If you need to keep keeping the back knee down and the hands together in prayer, that's fine too. One more big breath in here. And exhale, bring this hand down. And we're gonna step back to plank. Okay, now the left leg steps forward. So our left leg is in our crescent lunge. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, hands together in prayer and twist to the left side this time. So right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Good, and now we float. So inhale, reach up. Remember, exhale, prayer twist. Wide legs for a more stable foundation, okay? Back knee down if this is all too intense. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, twist and hold. Good. So this is where you can open up those arms if you like. If you need to sort of step the back leg in or wider to stabilize the foundation before you open up those arms, then go ahead and do that. Nice, strong back leg. Big breath in here, and exhale, bring that hand down. So we're gonna step back to plank, and we're gonna do a few more plank crescent pose lunges. So leading with the right leg. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, step back to plank. Good. Big breath in, and exhale. Big breath in, all the time the core is engaged. One more time each side. Big breath in, and exhale, and inhale, exhale. This time from plank, let's lift up to down dog, sink those heels, bend through the knees and step, or jump into the hands. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold. Let's flow in a sun salute. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, step, or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin or lower plank, cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up and down dog. Bend through the knees and step or jump into the hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step or jump back to plank. Knees, chest and chin or lower plank. Cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up if you want or on bend, hold it in down dog. Good, let's sink those heels, lift the hips and drive the right leg up into the air. Good, so sink the left heel down as you drive the right heel up for your dog splits. And let's bend that lifted knee and open up the right hip. You might even look underneath your right arm and feel that hip flexor on the right side opening up and getting a nice stretch. Good, we're gonna square the hips back to the center. We're gonna shift forward into our plank and you're gonna bring your right um, knee up to your right elbow. Dog splits, knee to left elbow. Dog splits, knee to center, plank crunch. Good, dog splits to right elbow. Dog splits, left elbow. Dog splits, plank crunch. And hold, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And step that right foot forward. Back into our crescent lunge. Again, it can be kneeling. So let's inhale to our crescent lunge. We're gonna exhale, reach the arms forward, sort of 45 degrees, abdominals in nice and tight. Inhale, come back to crescent. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, up to crescent lunge. Adding a little back bend there if you like. Reach forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, reach forward. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, reach forward. Slowly, slowly let the fingertips come down. You're gonna shift your weight forward on that front foot. Keep shifting the weight forward until the back leg lifts off the ground and then drive that back leg up into the air in standing splits. So standing splits is hard work on 
the standing leg and the lifted leg. So you're really working through the hamstrings, through the quads, through the glutes. So it doesn't matter how high that leg goes, just do the work, okay? What matters is how hard you're working. We're gonna take a big breath in here, and we're gonna bend both knees and bring the lifted knee to the outside of the standing leg. And inhale, drive that leg straight up again. Exhale, crunch down, knee to the outside. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch down. Again. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch down. Up. Well, last time you have to take it. Inhale up and step that leg long all the way back to your crescent lunge. So this time we're going to inhale our crescent lunge and hold it here. And if you're comfortable with the back bend, you can add a back bend. But just remember, before we bend back, we inhale and lengthen through the upper body. And then we exhale into a back bend. Good, then let's inhale, all bring the hands down in front. Let's all take our back knee down if it was not there already. And we're gonna bring both hands to the left side. And we're gonna bend at the elbows just as much as we can and hang out here in this um, lizard pose this is. Okay, so really stretching the outer hip on the right side and a nice hip flexor quad stretch on the left. Good. And then when you're ready, you can press those hands up and bring them onto this front leg, okay? This presses down through the hip flexor, more stretch here for the hip flexor and quads. And if you're comfortable reaching now for a hamstring, uh, sorry, more of a quad stretch, you can bring up that back foot, catch it with your left arm, and then sink back down into that lunge. Okay, so remember, always with our lunges, our front knee is over our, knee, our heel or behind it, not out over our toes, because that's way too much pressure on our knee. And you notice with this back knee, you notice the angle of the leg, so I'm not teetering on my back knee either. Okay, so there's really no pressure there. But this is a super intense stretch for the quads and you might, if you're not used to it, you could get a hamstring cramp. So if that happens, then obviously just release it. And in time, you'll get used to it. But super nice stretch to have. Good, let's release that foot then. If you were doing that stretch, bring the hands back to the mat. We're gonna step back to plank, knees, chest and chin or lower plank, cobra or up dog. Lower plank push up and down dog. So from here, sink the heels down. Let's lift the left leg this time, straight up into dog splits. And this side might be different. You might be more flexible on this side or less. Just go with the flow and do what suits your body. Let's bend that lifted knee, open up to the left side, look underneath the left arm, and press that foot back. Let it dangle behind you to really open up through the left hip. And square back to the center. Let's come to our plank crunch, bringing the left knee into the left elbow. Inhale, center. Exhale, plank crunch to the right elbow. Inhale, center. Plank crunch to the center. Inhale, left elbow, left knee. And inhale, right elbow. Inhale, plank crunch to the center and hold. Squeeze, 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 squeeze through the abs. And step that left foot forward. So now open up the feet wider apart to give you a more solid foundation. We're inhaling up to our crescent lunge. So big breath in here. You can add the back bend a little bit and then we'll flow into exhale, reaching forward 45 degrees. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach forward. All the time abdominals are in to support that lower back, okay? Inhale up, exhale and reach. Inhale up, exhale and reach. One more time, inhale center, exhale and reach, reach, reach. Let your fingertips come on down. Reach the body weight forward onto that left leg. Touch that back foot up, up, up until it lifts up into the air into your standing splits. Again, you're gonna be different on this side. You might feel more flexible or less flexible. Just drive that leg up. Keep squeezing through the glutes on that right side and pressing the upper body towards your standing leg. So a big breath in here. Then as we exhale, we bend both knees, 
bring the lifted knee to the outside of your standing leg. Inhale, drive it up, push with your heel. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, drive it up. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Now inhale last, standing split. And then slowly, slowly bring that lifted leg all the way down and back into our crescent lunge. So inhale, come on up. And if you're comfortable here with the back bend, remember inhale, lengthen first. And then exhale, back bend. Inhale to the center. We're all going to bring the hands down to the mat, all going to lower that back knee down to the mat for our lizard pose. So both hands come on over to the right side this time, and you're pressing the upper body down towards the mat. So this time really stretching the outer hip on the left side. This is a lovely stretch if you do any, um, a lot of walking or running. Really nice stretch for the hips. And it begins to open up the hips and prepare you for other hip opening poses. All right, let's press the hands up. And then if you're comfortable bringing the hands onto this front thigh, then you can go ahead and do that, but you don't have to. And then if you're comfortable with that quad stretch on the right side, bend up that back foot, catch it with your right hand. So bear in mind, this side is gonna be different. So this might be where you feel that hamstring cramp. And if you do, then release that leg. If not, then just easy sink the hips down towards the mat. So in our lunge, remember knee over ankle or behind it. And that back knee, see that deep angle? So that back knee is not teetering directly on the mat. Good, let's take a big breath in here. And as we exhale, we're gonna release that foot, bring the hands back to the mat. We're gonna step back to a plank, tummies in nice and tight. And we're gonna do three lower planks, okay? You can do this on your knees or you can do it full. Your choice, tummy in nice and tight. All right, remember, lower plank elbows stay close into the waist, and exhale, come on up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. I lost count, let's say one more, inhale, and exhale, good. Let's lower it all the way down to the mat, good. So let's release the arms, and let the head rest to one side for a moment. Go ahead and catch your breath if you need to. We're gonna take it into one little bow pose. So bring up both heels, catch the feet uh, with the hands. And if you can't catch both uh, feet at the same time, do it one, once, one at a time, okay? So when you're ready, you have both feet. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, press the feet away and let the uh, force of the legs pulling away lift that chest up. Good. Big breath in. Make sure you catch your breath now as we're staying still. Keep the deep breaths flowing. One more time. And exhale, release. Just release your right side. Keep holding the left side. Okay, now reach your right arm forward and your left leg back so that the left side of the body is in bowl and the right side of the body is in locust. And then change. So grab the right foot, release the left, Reach the left arm and left leg long. And we're gonna flow with that a few times. So inhale as you switch sides. Exhale as you reach. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So if this is too strenuous on your back, you can take it slower or you can just rest. Okay, always your choice. One more time, inhale and exhale. Good, let's release hands and legs. Bring the hands to the side of the chest, press up and release back into child's pose. So child's pose is obviously a really nurturing, relaxing pose, super for when you've worked the back a lot. Really nice counter pose to kind of relax the back muscles here in child's pose for a few moments. And then when you're ready, from child's pose, we're going to come on up to all fours, and we're going to step the right foot forward into like the kneeling lunge from before, except we're going to walk that right foot out to the left edge of the mat, and let outside the leg come on down to the mat, so in pigeon pose. So pigeon pose is a really deep hip opener, 
which we've done a lot of preparation for now already, but if your hips are super tight and pigeon pose is too much for you, bring this foot, the right foot, in close to the body. Whereas if your hips are very open and you're fine with that, you can take the foot further away from you, okay? Then with both hands on the mat, tuck that back toe under, lift the hips up, and try squaring hips to the mat. And then when you do that, you might find that you then need to bring that front foot in again, because you realize that you're a bit tight. Okay, so try squaring the hips, let the left hip flexor face towards the mat, and then we're gonna bring the hands in front, take a big breath in, and exhale, reach the chest forward. Let's flow with a few breaths here. Inhale, lengthen through the upper body, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale and lengthen, and this time, as we exhale, let's stay folded forward. So if you can reach the, your hands to the mat, you can rest your head on the hands, or you can have a block or a cushion or pillows or whatever. And it's nice to allow the head, neck, and shoulders to get a little uh, reprieve here in pigeon pose. And then you have your body weight pressing into your hips. And really, that's an awesome hip opener and stretch for uh, the outer hip on the right side. Good. And then when you're ready, let's press the hands up. We're going to shift to the left, so we're going to turn to the left a bit. Bring this right leg in close to the body. We're going to lift the left leg up and cross it all the way over the right. Okay, we're going to sit tall, big breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to look around to our left side. So each time we inhale, let's lengthen through the upper body. And each time we exhale, let's twist to the left. But remember, inhale, lengthen first, and then exhale and twist. So we want to twist from an extended spine, not from a crunched up spine, right? So inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Good. And slowly, let's release. So magically, our left foot is in front this time. Let's sit, step back with the right. Go ahead and take the right knee down. And then we're bringing the outside of the left leg to the mat, taking the foot over to the right edge of the mat. And same thing, so you might feel different on this side. So you might find that this front leg needs to come closer into the body for pigeon pose, or it can be further away depending on how you're, whether you're more open on this hip than the other, okay? But with both sides, we have the fingertips to the mat, lift the hips up off the mat, and square this time the right hip towards the mat. And then let's walk our hands forward and do a few flowing breaths here in pigeon. So inhale, lengthen and exhale, reach the chest forward. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, fold forward. So as before, a nice time to find a little rest, whether it's your head resting on your hands, or the pillow, or the bolster, or the block, or what have you. And just spend a few moments here with your calm deep breaths. Okay, so the rate of breath should have slowed down now since we've kind of done with the cardio part of this class. So a few calm breaths right here. And then when you're ready, let the hands press the upper body up. Bring this left leg in close to the body now, all of us. And lift the right leg up, swing it around, and cross it over the bottom knee. All right, so before we twist, we inhale, sit nice and tall, and then we exhale, let the right hand come behind us, and you can use your left hand wedged against that top leg and twist around to your right. Inhale, sit tall, and exhale, twist. And one more time, inhale, sit tall, and exhale, twist. Good, let's release that twist. Let's bring the soles of the feet together in butterfly pose. So soles of the feet together, hands can hold onto the shins or to the feet. We inhale, sit nice and tall. Exhale, gently reach the chest forward. So like child's pose, this is a lovely stretch for the lower back, releasing out any tension that hopefully we didn't create during the class that but might still be there. One more time, inhale, lengthen, and exhale forward. But if you can spend a bit longer in this pose, then that's super beneficial as well. Go ahead and spend more time uh, stretching out and lengthening through that back. That's so great for everybody. Okay, but when you're ready, 
to take it into full relaxation. Go ahead, turn on your mat, and lower all the way down to Shavasana, full relaxation pose. Let the legs drop apart, the arms drop to the side, palms facing up at the ceiling. And then just focus on your breath. It should be calm, natural breathing now. And again, spend as much time as you can here in full relaxation pose. Okay? Thanks so much for joining me today. Namaste.